My name is Chris Bowser. I'm the Science Education Specialist with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Hudson River Estuary Program, and Hudson River Research Reserve, in partnership with Cornell University's New York State Water Resource Institute. We're here on the Fall Kill Creek in Poughkeepsie, New York this afternoon as part of an ongoing study of juvenile eels, what are called glass eels. These tiny two-inch creatures have just come in from the Atlantic Ocean where they were born almost a year ago in what's called the Sargasso Sea, roughly between Bermuda and Puerto Rico. Eels provide a direct link between oceans, estuaries, tributaries, and watersheds. Scientists have noted declines in American eel all along the East Coast. Collecting baseline information on migration patterns is essential to the conservation and management of this important species. An amazing part of this project is that high school students are actually doing the research. We have, at different tributary sites up and down the Hudson River, these specialized nets called fike nets that are put in place into these tributaries. And daily, high school students, local volunteers, scientists, and other people come down to these fike nets to collect the glass eels, count them, weigh them, and then release them further upstream so that they can continue on with their journey. What have you learned from this project? Pretty much that eels are important. I've never really seen them to be any use, except like little worms just wiggle around the water. But they're a part of our ecosystem and they have a purpose. So. I'd say working cooperatively with each other and seeing the process of science as we collect the data and what we're learning about the data. They all came with this expectation of what they could do and they all exceeded that. You know, they didn't, I think they first looked at the water even like, can I walk in it? Can I really put those waders on? Can I handle my feet being sticky? Can I handle all of those things? Can I really get that dirty? And the answer to all those things was yes. It's like volunteering with the community and not really that much people do it. And they always look at the kids like, we're just stereotype and like we're bad kids or whatever. So I thought it was a good way to change the stereotype too. Excellent. How do you think you've changed that stereotype? Because like, being of black descent, obviously, um, I just like, I'm not like everyone else, like, we're like this gangster, or we're always on the fight, or we all have goals in life, or that's, I don't know, those are like some of the stereotypes, so I just wanted to change that, have goals in life, I do want to become a vet, but I want to work with big animals, but I like eels, they're cool, and like, I learned, like, it like pushed my limit, because I never thought like I would touch it, you know, before, they're like slimy and gooey, so I finally conquered my fear, and I like it, and it's cool. I get to work with different people and stuff. What does your grandmother think of all this? She she has something to do, and it's <laughs> like, she likes it because she likes to see us doing stuff, because before this, I never went out. I stayed in my room, watched TV all day, all night, and that's it, so it's just, and it's new to her, too. I think students should get involved with science programs, because like, science and math are like, basic part of life like it's like everything evolves around it I feel and like this is like this improves it. The Department of Environmental Conservation's Estuary Program and Research Reserve are dedicated to involving citizens with their own local ecosystems to give everybody the tools and the knowledge that they need to both appreciate and conserve the remarkable biodiversity and natural resources that the Hudson Valley is very fortunate to have. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you don't bite your nails. Embarrassing. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, we got some. Told you. Probably not as much as last time, but we something close.